next video so what's happening uh, I have this uh, diesel heaters I have two of these I use them for um, heating up uh, my garage and uh, uh, firstly the, the paint booth my normal heater sits up there it's uh, air air it works really great to heat the garage itself but when I need a lot of more heat I use them so as you can see 10 centimeter of cable you know you can't even put it into a, a sticker or something like that it's too short it's too damn short so first project today I'm gonna do three things today I'm gonna change cable on those two I'm going to make a video of how to polish a run um, out or at least show how I do it in one case I will not show the easiest way or the hardest way or the best way just doing, going to show one uh, and I have some wooden parts over there that is for a bed a junk bed those will be painted and I have two cabinet uh, doors like those two that is going to be painted as well but first we start with this one here is it uh, I have opened the front up to see if we can locate the cable looks like it goes I don't know if you can see it in and out it goes somewhere inside there so if I'm unlucky I'm going to have to remove all of it uh, I also should do another thing here I don't know where I have put them hmm. Uh, the problem with this is that they are really sensitive for dirt in the fuel. So I have bought filters that I should have installed here. Uh, but I do that next time instead. I don't find them at the moment. So at the moment I need to find out where the heck the cables goes. And of course people don't do this unless you know what you're doing. There I got some focus. Um, this the, the power the, the the electric here is lethal so do it correctly I will show when I do it at least um, I need to get some parts off here to get hold of the cable so I probably need to remove the whole heat now I remove that one instead two screws I really need to get a stand for my camera see here tools cut this off <coughs> so I can show you this I should open it up. Take a long screw. Easier said than done to open it up from here. So The face and the zero is out. Uh, it's just the ground wire I need to get out as well. It looks like they have stuck it on the other side around and back here or something like that. So I need to open that side as well. This, is, this has been annoying me for quite a while. Uh, short dam cables. I have no clue why they do that. It's really strange so. Four more screws here. Let's get them away. There we go. Let's 
It's really nice to stand in this part of the garage because here is the wall. The heater just above me. It's a really nice thing. And as you can see, cameras of course. You need to have that. Have some units up there. I should fix the cables soon. But I have wireless in whole place here. Get two wireless in this part. One in the other house and three in my main house. So I can go with my iPad or cell phone everywhere. There it is on this side. Let's remove, remove that one. There we go. And as you can see, I actually bought some more paint. This is not all. I have. Uh, Dozens of unopened as well. I gave like 50 euro. And I got decent amount of filled ones. I think this is like 50 liter of water based colors. Not the whole system, but some. The leftover. A lot of red and silver and such. It's good to have when you do a smaller project like a moped or something like that. You can just toss some color together. Doesn't matter if it's correct or not. So there you have it. It's lossen. It's loose. Now I need to fetch some cable. If I don't have any, I did do have to uh, join this together with some other leftover. So I'll be back in short. So <coughs> let's see if I can show this. I found a cable. I found two actually. This one I cut off an UPS, an old UPS I had. So it's like two meters. Uh, it's okay. A little bit thick wiring. But it's better than nothing. And of course, three, same as before. So let's install this one. This one needs to get through here. We do it like this the whole way. See if I can set you up. Uh, I really hate not ha having any stand. Uh, I have some tools here. Good to have. Let's. Get them clean before going further. I don't need, even know what I'm shooting at. Where is the cable? There it is. No. <laughs> this is really, really hard. There we go. Let's see if we can set this up here somewhere. It's hard to do this with one hand. And the earth of one will have this yellow one. Put it in yellow. This t tool is the best tool ever. It's supposed to. But you have to. Damn, it was hard. That should do it. One down, two to go. Just twin them around a bit. Let's see what I have left here. I don't have many of those left, so I'll use what I have. Should have yellow or blue enough. So let's see if I can get in. So there we go. Red won't fit. Let's take a yellow one instead. 
don't really need it to cover it once. I could have used, no, I would like to use the normal one. It doesn't need to be protected on circuit board. There we go. Oh, nice one. Huh. That's one we do again. What's wrong with this today? There's all the way around. You should always pull the cable when you have done this to m just make sure that it is properly in place. Because if it gets loose like that, then you failed. There you go. Three cables done. Let's see if I can. One of them. will be placed here there we go short one one there and the next one will be on the front the front have a uh, button power so there it will be connected and the earth will of course be connected on the other side there we go, the focus screw it on there It's really important to have the earth cable. If something goes wrong, the electric, the current will not go through the metal and through your body out. It will go through the earth cable. And uh, if you got correct wiring at home, it will shut down the power. There we go. That's one is there. Uh, we need something that holds the cable as well. This one. I have the old one here. Don't know if it will work. Let's try it out. The cable is a little bit big. Uh, so I will not get this in place, then we skip it and we put some stripes on it instead. Should be enough in my case. Let's see if we can do this. Hmm. I should get some camera I can have on my chest instead. Because this is annoying. Let me pause this and I'll be back. There. I'm gonna focus on it there. Um, I did get one around, just one around cable. That will hold it enough. The edge is not sharp, so no worries, it won't go through the edge. Uh, you should have something there, but I didn't have anything, so I do it like this. It is okay for me. So let's put all things back together again. We need one there. Let's get the screw.
There you go. One side is done. The control panel. Let's connect it here. I think that's okay. Oh, that cable won't work. It will be, <laughs> it needs to be on that side, not that. Um, I probably can bend it a bit. Let's see if I can do that. Also, press this together a little bit. What I'm doing now is actually getting jaws a little bit tighter, and then it will be better fit on it. That should be okay. It is sealed, so. No harm. Let's put this back in place. That looks okay. Let's get some screws in there. So, one cable mounted here, this one I actually found rubber to put in as well, a little bit better, the long cable is mounted on that one, let's see if it works, firstly put them to off, another sticker, you can see it, yeah, dude does it work. One okay, let's try the other one. Long cable off. Oops, put down. I don't want to put the other cable out because my computer is running and I just get, got it to work with the scale. So let's see here, it lights up. Starter as well. Both burners back in business and with longer cables. The old one ones are here. I would save them because perhaps I need something for some other project in the future. So those goes into the good to have bag. Have one here. That one is thrown. There we go. Okay. That's okay. Oh, it's smoking. It's 
diesel on the end, that's why. Thank you! Bye!